this year's location is in the land of sex, drugs and clogs. You might have guessed it, Amsterdam. We've had over 150 guests fly in from UK and Ireland and even South Africa. We have three really strong contenders this year in the technical category. And then in the new editorial category, we have six amazing finalists. I'm looking forward to one of these guys holding the gold trophy. That's what I'm looking forward to. What it means to us as a salon, as a brand in this industry is the biggest thing. This is one of the most decorated awards that are on the hairdressing calendar. So to be a part of it, to be a national winner, potentially a global winner, means everything. Totally amazing to win in the bronze category editorial colorist of the year. Um, we're buzzing, man. Put all our energy and effort into this photo shoot. So yeah, buzz. If you're thinking of entering next year, don't think about it too hard. Just do it. Even if you don't get through, you learn so much on the journey. And if you do get through, you get to come to this incredible event and be a part of something really special. my first cow salon global experience I didn't know what to expect but it is the Eurovision Song Contest of hair. The highlight for me has been seeing Angelo Seminara. He is a legend. I think he's someone we're all going to look back on in years to come and just really understand how much he's influenced hair. Creatively he's untouchable. been a fantastic chance for us all to just re-engage and network and just feel like we're part of our own tribe because let's face it the hairdressing industry is a tribe all of its own and the cow tribe are unique. <laughs>